Our study was about uh, early diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease uh, because uh, it's very important uh, to diagnose the patients early. Uh, after neurodegeneration has taken place, we cannot uh, re reverse the pathological process in the brain. So we know that from the, from the studies, we know that the, uh, the pathological changes start 20, like 20 years before the patient becomes uh, cognitively deficient. So when a patient comes to you saying that I'm, I, I don't remember things, I forget things, probably it's been like 15 years to, that the pathological processes uh, had been going on in the brain. So uh, we are interested in an uh, easy method to diagnose uh, Alzheimer's disease early. Our method is basically an MRI method. It's a functional MRI method. So. Uh, we added it to the structural MRI. It just adds five minutes and it doesn't use a tracer uh, radioactive uh, material like PET scan, but it's very consistent. The results are very consistent with the PET scan results. So we can use it. It is safe. It just takes five minutes and it's cheap. So we did basically uh, this uh, study in 85 patients in six months who came to our clinic. Uh, most of the patients were, had Alzheimer's disease and MCI, minimal cognitive impairment. Uh, the others were depressed. Um, they, we, we saw that uh, a hyperperfusion pattern in parietal lobes, bilateral parietal lobes, uh, were detected in the Alzheimer's patients and the MCI patients. Um, hyperperfusion pattern, uh, patterns were uh, more frequent in the Alzheimer's patients. It's, it was 85, 83% of the Alzheimer's patients. And, 63% uh, of the MCI patients had the hyperperfusion pattern. We know that not all of the MCI patients turn into Alzheimer's disease, so we think that if we, uh, we can track these patients in the long term, we will see that some of them who have the hyperperfusion pattern will turn into AD. So this is the idea of the study. There are methods that we can detect the uh, people who have risks, but they are very expensive, like PET amyloid, amyloid PET scans. But uh, this is be, uh, this is a very good study because it is very uh, easy to access. Just an MRI machine, you just need an MRI machine. So uh, there are many studies with ASL MRI. Some people use quantitative measures, but this is research based. So we think that clinically uh, we may use it. Uh, of course, besides neuropsychiatric evaluation, not just imaging, uh, we, 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 will, we do the mental examination, neuropsychiatric evaluation and the blood test and the structural MRI and this will help us.